Let's talk golf and fitness. Welcome to Fitness Friday, and I have a tip for you today that's going to address three things that are important to work on to get better at hitting the ball further with more power and stability. I'm going to grab my loop, so any tubing will do. Just put it down around the bottom of your ankles and step in. And once you've done that, grab yourself a driver, and then let's get to work. So let's talk about why we're doing it and why it matters. So one of the things that I have noticed over years and years and questions being asked me, coach, how do I get a better ability to feel transition? So you start in the middle, the center of gravity, anatomical neutral. It's the human body in the strongest position. So what I like about that is it creates activation and feel. Your brain sends a signal to the rest of your body. Okay, so let's get your body in the game. Take the driver and put it up on your collarbone, okay? Bring your hands and then cross them at the top, and then put your feet together, flex your knees, and it's going to be really simple. So get with me, and let's get to work. Here we go. We're going to take a big step right. That's a power step. And what I want you to notice is this tubing creates resistance, and it, and it creates brain activity. So your brain now is saying, I've got a step with a lot more power and energy, and then place your foot on the ground. Your leg should be in a flex position. Let me quickly show it to you from the side, right? Because that's important. So here's the flex position. Now we'll get back to work. We'll walk through the other two steps, and then we'll do five together. Here we go. Power position, activate and step. Take a back swing. So now you're feeling very connected with your body and your brain. And then from this position, I want you to transition. Some teachers refer to it as the bump or getting to the opposite side. And once you transition, you're feeling all this energy and activation because the band is stretched far. And for that to happen, your muscles have to be engaged. And once you've transitioned, literally rotate your body, bring your arch into the ground, and release your toe and heel. Now, let's do a few together so you can see how it looks and feels. Here we go. I'll count it out. Work with me at home. Here we go. Step one, load, flex, back swing, transition, release. Let's do it one more time. Step, flex, feel the ground, rotate, transition, and release it. Two, we got three more, we're working. Activate the band, follow the steps. Rotate, transition, release, last two. Here we go, step, feel the ground, power comes from the ground up, big turn back towards the target, transition, and release. And let's do this last one together. Here we go. Big step, far as you can go. Knee flex, big rotation, transition, and release it. Try that drill. Have fun and hit it further.